Taurus, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a reading for singles as well as for those who are in separation. And so we're going to be taking a look at X partnerships. So of course, that portion of the reading will be focused on those of you who at least might be open to the possibility of reconciling or there's this desire to reconcile with an X. So if that's not something you're interested in, then of course, you don't have to watch that portion of the reading. I will timestamp it down below so you can watch the portion of this video that you're interested in, or of course you can watch the whole thing. All right, so it is general advice as always, guys. Please keep that in mind throughout. All right, Taurus, so let's get into it, starting with singles messages. All right, so I'm gonna start with my dating scene oracle deck here. Let's see what needs to come through. I may choose more than one scenario to give singles the opportunity for more than one storyline here. So let's go ahead and see what we need to focus on here for you, Taurus. All right, here we go. Let's grab a card. So what's who, I should say who, is coming towards you or what energy is surrounding you at this time for singles? All right, so we have soulmates, very nice. Okay, so either this is someone that you of course end up connecting with. We don't have any time frames here, but there is an indication that you will be meeting somebody that you consider to be a soulmate and they see you in the same way. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my yummy tarot deck here. For Taurus for singles, those who are unattached at this time, ready for love, it could be a new love. Okay, we've got some cards popping up. All right, so we have the hangman, we've got the page of cups, and we do have the empress. Now this is quite significant here, especially for my divine feminines, because the empress represents Taurus specifically. So perhaps divine feminines, you had to let go of one situation. Some of you guys might have already broken up with a person that you just didn't find was your ideal person or an ideal situation. So there could also be a part of you that needed time to yourself to possibly heal from prior relationships or to just be able to spend time on your own. All right, you could also connect perhaps with a divine masculine water sign here. We do have the page of cups coming through. So you could connect with Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. So there is this need to let go of the old, perhaps, in order to make way for something and someone new. Okay, so that's actually a good thing. Take a look at this, guys. We've got the Eight of Cups representing this need to walk away from a person or situation or divine feminine you've already done that all right there could also be even though we haven't looked at the x partnerships yet i am feeling for some of you that there could be an x here that because the page of cups represents that curiosity they could be curious as to whether or not you've moved on to somebody else or they might just be wondering you know how are you doing without them Look at this. We do have the Ten of Cups. So for my singles, if you resonate with this, I feel you have what it takes to be able to attract someone in your life who could represent that soulmate. Joy and contentment, as we can see right there with the Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful card to be able to bring you the happiness perhaps that someone couldn't. You know, this is someone that is coming in who can fulfill you certainly contribute to the quality of your life and your love life. It's almost like a dream manifesting for you when you connect with this person. All right, look at this. We've got the Six of Swords. We've got the Two of Cups. And then we have the King of Cups. All right, so we've got Cups representing Divine Masculine Energy. So there's something tied into that water vibe of Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But obviously, if you end up meeting someone who's on a water sign, that doesn't mean that this cannot resonate with you. 
So walking away, moving forward, that goes together for me because this right here represents a transition away from the past. You're moving on. You want something and someone better, and this is the direction that you're going. So you needed to walk away from someone or again, a toxic situation maybe. It just didn't work out, but by doing so, by creating movement in your life, you're finally heading towards the right direction where you can have this Two of Cups experience it does represent true love. It represents the ultimate partnership and connection. And we do have the King of Cups right here. So right next to the Empress representing the Divine Feminine, this is a masculine whose heart is completely open to you, Divine Feminine. This is someone perhaps who could be your dream come true. Now for my singles, we also have the King of Pentacles coming in. So you could also attract an Earth sign here. All right, so similar energy to yours, perhaps, Divine Feminine coming in as Taurus. All right, so King of Pentacles representing Virgo. So you could also connect with someone who is a Virgo. So we've got options and certainly Divine Masculine options coming in here for the Feminines and both coming in as Kings. So you've got some nice propositions perhaps that are coming in from potential suitors here looks really good you could meet someone in your work environment okay that could be the king of pentacles they're all about being abundant and prosperous this is somebody who could be very generous as well as ready for love as well so you've got some nice potentials here i feel for the divine feminine and then we do have the world we do have the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Strength card. You could also be dealing with a Leo. Okay, so what I'm ultimately getting here is with the world representing that cycle that completes, that could represent old doors that needed to close when it comes to prior relationships. And with the Nine of Wands right next to that, we do see that this is a very resilient energy. So some of the more challenging things that you've been through could have been a very hard journey with somebody here, but you probably did walk away from that person at this point and you're just ready to connect with somebody else. For some of you, maybe maybe you've already done that, but it could also be really scary to open yourself up to the possibility of dating somebody new. And that's where the strength card comes in to be able to tap into your inner strength and Feel the fear, but go for it anyway, because I have a feeling that moving forward for my singles, you're going to be quite successful being able to connect with somebody and be able to experience the happiness that you absolutely deserve. So that looks beautiful the way that's coming through right there. All right. I wanted to go ahead and grab another card from here, but that's a beautiful message for Taurus. All right, let's grab another and let's see what else we can find out. So from the Dating Scene Oracle once again. All right, check this out, guys. All right, so we have a Love Struck Divine Masculine. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we can learn from that. So these two scenarios could certainly go together. Soulmates and Love Struck Divine Masculine. I'll be pulling from my Luna Tarot deck this time. All right. What about this Love Struck Divine Masculine? All right, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficient. This could be a masculine, perhaps, who's used to being on their own. They could be quite independent and self-sufficient. They could also be doing well, perhaps, when it comes to their abundance, you know, their work environment. All of that could be going well, right? Check this out. This is an interesting energy with the Four of Pentacles. We do see greed right there. So they could have been the type of person where they didn't really want to share their life with anybody. You know, they when it came to their finances, perhaps they were all about themselves, wanting to be able to stand on their own two feet. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel this person representing the masculine, they're ready for love. They're finally ready to open up their heart to what they could bring into their life. We do have the chariot right here. So triumph, success, overcoming challenges, 
difficulties in their life. Okay, let's see what else here. What else do we need to know? So we've got the Nine of Wands. So going back to what already came through, remember that already presented itself. All right, so the Nine of Wands represents the fact that someone has been through some difficult moments. You know, somebody has either hurt you or you experienced some ups and downs, challenges for sure in your love life. But what this is telling us here for this particular scenario is we might have a masculine that they've been hurt as well, you know, possibly due to certain scenarios, experiences that they had in the past, but they're really hoping to experience better. And there's just this need to be able to move forward and heal from past experiences here. Interesting. Look at this, we have the Five of Pentacles. That's followed by the Five of Swords. So this masculine, they know what it's like to struggle, to be left out in the cold, you know, to be detached from a feminine, possibly because they were all about their money. They were all about their career. You know, they could have been self-absorbed in their work environment and not able to dedicate too much time towards the relationship. So it could have been a feminine who decided, you know what, we're on very different pages and let's just go our separate ways. This is clearly an indication with the Ten of Pentacles that when it comes to their finances, their job, their career, all of that seems to be going quite well. But we're at a point here with this masculine where they really are ready to open up and share their life with somebody. And there's a particular divine feminine that this masculine you know, they're quite focused on that feminine and ready to open up their heart. And look at this. Here we are again with the King of Cups, and that's followed by the Eight of Wands. So as we can see here, we have a masculine who really is ready to get things moving when it comes to the situation with the Divine Feminine. The Chariot and the Eight of Wands, they both represent movement and speed here with the Eight of Wands. So they want to get this situation moving rather quickly. Interestingly enough, bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, which is a slow moving energy. So they wanna get things going already, but perhaps the Divine Feminine wants to be able to take their time to get to know this masculine and to really explore where this could go. All right, so that's an interesting energy presenting itself there, Taurus. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at some messages for ex-partnerships here. All right, so that's what's coming through there. Okay, so if you are interested in either reconciling with your ex or just really wanting to know what energy will be coming forward from that person, whether or not you're interested in a reunion or not, let's see. So I'll be pulling from the Relationship Design Cards. This is by Sister Moon Tarot. All right, here we go. What's going on with your ex? When it comes to you. Yeah, you guys definitely have shared a history together. Now, for some of you, you might have known this person since you were young you know we do have that childhood reference right there you guys might have grown up together this could also be childhood sweethearts you know that sort of thing past lives karmic ties okay let's see what else when it comes to exes here okay loss grieving processing letting go okay so I really do feel that for my Tauruses that you have detached from your ex and perhaps you really are no longer interested in reconnecting with this person. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some tarot and see what's going on here for Taurus. So they're feeling lost without you. There is this need to let go, but perhaps they're struggling to let go of you. 
Look at that, there's our Nine of Wands once again. So this is testing this person to go through this healing journey. You know, and the Nine of Wands, as we can see, part of the keyword there is courage. But I feel this person is struggling to be able to find the courage to be able to move on without you. You guys clearly had some disagreements right here with the Five of Wands, okay? So there was disharmony in this partnership. You guys just weren't seeing eye to eye, okay? There was, the Five of Wands can also represent rivalry, some sort of conflict there. There could have been other people in the picture or maybe at this point, Taurus, you moved on to somebody else and this person, your ex, feeling like they, they really have lost you because you've already moved on. Let's see what else. What else for the ex here? For Taurus. Okay. So we have the Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with another Earth sign. So either Virgo, Capricorn, or another Taurus here. So this is about seizing the opportunity. And maybe they feel like they've missed the, the chance to be able to fix this with you. There is this need to detach and let go. But they're also feeling quite lost. And that sense of loss you know, this is something, as we can see, they're trying to process all this, but they're really struggling, okay? Now, take it, if this makes sense, we do have the Seven of Swords. So, maybe this person, your ex, betrayed you in some way. They could have also been the type that was deceptive, or they just were lying to you, hiding things from you. It could have been infidelity. It could have been a third-party situation, but if it's not that, then maybe they were just hiding things from you and they were just dishonest in some way, shape, or form. We've got the death card. Look at this, guys. We've got the Hierophant picking up off of your own Taurus energy once again. So this is clarifying that this came to an end with your ex. You know, we do have the death card. You could have also been dealing with a Scorpio right there. All right, so it's right next to grieving, processing, letting go, that sense of loss. So it really is almost as if a part of them, a piece of them died when you detached from this relationship. And I feel for my Taurus as you moved on because you needed to create change in your life in order to be able to find happiness. And this right here for my Tauruses might have something to do with the fact that you really needed to focus on your own life lessons in order to commit to being or finding happiness within yourself first and preparing yourself for what's to come. Because what you need in a relationship and a partnership is this Six of Pentacles where you guys are both on the same page. You're not in disagreement. Okay, you're both giving and taking from each other equally. All right, there's that 50-50 exchange between two people and that could have been lacking there so this person could have also been a karmic partner a karmic experience for you taurus and then you've got the ace of swords coming through here so finally this gives you the clarity or maybe through your own detachment from your ex you finally have the that epiphany that light bulb moment to cut yourself free from this individual because you deserve better Okay, it's almost like you laid down the burden of what this person represented to you. And now they're carrying the burden of the situation that they created for themselves and for the two of you. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So I really do feel, Taurus, that things are going to change for you. I don't think that you and your ex are really going to get back together. I mean, for some of you, you know, anything's possible if there's a part of your heart that would be open to this person returning. But based off of what we're seeing, I don't think so. I feel more so you're just ready to create change in your life. Okay. And then we've got the Two of Wands. That's followed by the Nine of Cups. You have other goals. You have other wishes. You want to be able to pursue a life where you really can experience that rainbow and that happiness rather than tower moments and this dark cloud that's represented by going back to somebody that made you miserable or cheated on you or didn't treat you right. 
So even though you let go, they're struggling, struggling to let you go. Maybe they still see you as this wish, but at this point, it could be wishful thinking on behalf of your ex. We do have the Four of Cups right here. So as we can see, regrets, depression, that is a part of their vibe now. They're feeling it. They're feeling that emptiness because you're no longer there, okay? They're very much in their head. Eight of Swords, it's that mental imprisonment. So they're surrounding themselves with all of these negative energies and negative thoughts about what life has been like for them without you. Okay, because what was needed in this scenario is this three of pentacles where you guys work together, but I have a feeling that that was lacking. Okay, that was lacking in this situation here. And for my Tauruses, I really do feel you're just looking towards the future and being able to build a much better life with somebody else at this point. So I'm not feeling reconciliations for this particular ex scenario. I feel you're just ready for something new if you haven't found it already. All right, Taurus, so I will leave that there. Hopefully there's something in these messages, whether you are single or focused on an ex-partnership and just really wondering what's happening there. You know, so hopefully there's something here that made sense for your situation. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below in the description box, as well as the action buttons at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.